we will look at the particle paths along which fluid particles move. Go to CFD post and select streamline and I can, you know, I'll call it streamlines. Stre streamlines and what we are plotting are actually path lines and what CFD post plots are path lines and they are the same for steady flow. For those of you who have seen the definition of streamlines. So you can interpret this as particle paths for our purposes. And I'll, if I say far field one, start from far field one, and I can say preview seed point. So let me turn off the contours here and select Z. And when I select preview seed points, it'll show me that it's going to release particles from which locations. And if I say apply, you know, I, I see what the path that those particles will take. Um, it's better, what I found is that, you know, it's, uh, it would be better to kind of dr uh, draw a location here and then release particles from that location. Let's do that. So create a location, line, call it seed line. And I put it one card length upstream of the airfoil and um, I went two card lengths down and two card lengths up. So that gives me the location of the line, number of samples, let's say 100 and apply. And that shows me the location that I just created. Okay. Now go back to the streamline object by double clicking on it and say start from seed line. And you can say preview seed points and let me make the maximum number of points the same as the number of samples. And now I say preview seed, seed points and you see I get a lot more points along there. And if I zoom in here, those are all the locations from which, you know, it's going to release particles. And let me say apply. And what it's doing here is it's computing, it's going to the underlying velocity field and it's computing, you know, how much, where the particle is going in, in increments. So let me draw that. So if I release a particle from here, it'll say, oh, it'll go and check what the velocity is and it'll integrate it you know, some um, in increment in time, and it's going to be much smaller in, in fact, and it'll say, oh, now the new location is that. And then it will redo that integration and the new location is that. That's how it's calculating it. That's the definition of a particle path. The definition of streamline is that, you know, it's a line uh, along which the the tangent to that line is uh, gives you the um, direction of the flow. And we can see that, you know, over here, as the, the particle is uh, negotiating the, um, the leading edge, uh, this, this is being deflected down and this is going up and it's, it's getting this, um, it has this high velocity. I can color it by different variables. So, you know, let's say I color it by, um, let me, pick CP, the pressure coefficient. And by comparing this to our CP plot, we can see, you know, over here, it's about, you, you're getting um, minus four um, as a CP. And, you know, you can play around with these scales. We should check that that's consistent with, with our plot. But by looking at this plot versus the 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 CP plot that we did, where we compared with experiments, you can you know you, you can actually learn a lot by um, by you know seeing where you're getting the high pressure coefficient, the low pressure coefficient, what the values are, and so on. This is a nice plot because what we have done is we have gone to a Lagrangian view from our solution that's in the Eulerian view, and that gives you a velocity field.